All right, hello all you crazy people out there. My name is Dragonite, and welcome back to another Game Maker video. So if you're familiar with other programming languages, you may be familiar with the concept of overloading functions or methods. If you're not, that's just the scary sounding way of describing a function or a method that can take different argument lists. For example, if you were to talk about Java, because I like Java and I'm the only person in the world who still likes Java, uh, you could say, let's just find a method called add. And it's going to take two arguments, and it's going to return them uh, added together, as you would expect. And then we can define another one, public static int add, except this is going to take three arguments. And it's going to return a plus b plus c. And if you were to use them, did I spell that right? Print line, yes. Uh, you could say 5 plus 3 is add 5 and 3. And you could call the other one as well. Uh, let's go with an even number this time. How about 6? Add 5, 3, and 6. And you could compile this, and, the, and Java would know exactly what to do with it. I don't think I can increase the font size on the command window, so I'm just going to have to do a little bit of video editing. I hope nobody minds. Um, uh, Java C because uh, Java knows how to deal with overloaded methods. Uh, Java test, and you could see 5 plus 3 is 8, and 5 plus 3 plus 6 is 14. And like I said, if you give Java to different fun uh, scripts, methods, functions, they're called methods in Java, uh, with different parameter lists, argument lists, uh, Java would automatically know which one to use, which version of the method to use. And that's wonderful. And if you wanted to do that in GameMaker, uh, you might want to go add a script, and we could call it add, and return argument 0 plus argument 1. Uh, can I make this bigger? That's not how you make it bigger. Uh, I think F8 makes it text bigger. There we go. Let's go a little more than that. Um, and if you wanted to make uh, an overloaded version, you might want to duplicate this and call it add as well. Except GameMaker will complain about that, because invalid name already in use add. Names must be unique. It actually didn't do this prior to Game Maker Studio, but if you're going to have Game Maker 8 use two scripts with the same name, you're going to run into some other problems. So it really won't work there either. Anyway, this isn't an option. Let's OK out to that and let's get rid of this because I don't need it anymore. And fortunately, there is a way around this. Uh, the way that Game Maker looks at arguments and scripts is a little bit weird. Instead of accessing them by name, like whatever names they give the arguments in the Java method, uh, you use these argument variables. Fortunately for us, GameMaker does know how many arguments you pass a script, and it's stored in the variable argument count. And you can do things based on this variable. You could say if argument count is 2, do this. Else if argument count is 3, return. Did I spell that right? I did. You could return the sum of the three arguments, except this isn't quite going to work. If I were to jump over here, and this is just the NPC demo thing that I did in like 2013, that was actually really bad, but that's not important right now because I just need to display text on the screen. Um, I could say, what was it before? Five plus three as, uh, what do I wanna do? I wanna add five and three, and I could do this again. 5 plus 3, I think the other one was 6. And we could add 5, 3, and 6. Make that total lines 2 because this was badly programmed and that's how it has to work. And if I were to run the game, uh, this would not work. I think I said that already. Uh, down here, if you can read it, I know it's kind of small and the contrast isn't great, but instance code and room, main rooms, that line 1. Function add expects three arguments to provided. And that is because when you access arguments via the single variables, argument 0, argument 1, etc., etc., excuse me, when you access the arguments like this, uh, GameMaker expects you to provide all of them. And it doesn't matter if you're actually using all of them, um, if they're listed in the script code anywhere, uh, you have to provide them in the argument list, and there is really no way around that. However, if you want to do that anyway, uh, you can also access arguments in an array. 
And that would look like this. Instead of saying argument zero, argument one, you would say argument sub zero, argument sub one, or index zero, index one if you prefer. And now when you run the game, All right, it compiles, which is great. I can run up to you and, and I can talk to you. Five plus three is eight, and five plus three plus six is 14, which is what I want, which is excellent. And this crashed because I didn't do something right. Okay, I don't really care. So this opens up the door to a couple interesting possibilities. I actually only a couple days ago learned about, and I can't remember what they're called, but they're functions or methods that take an undefined number of uh, parameters. Hey. Like the printf function in most languages, you can pass an arbitrary number of uh, parameters and that uh, will format the string accordingly. And if you wanted to do that, or something similar, I'm not going to implement printf in GameMaker because that's kind of annoying. But if you wanted to have an add function that, say, added together as many arguments as you wanted, uh, you could bypass this. You could say var total equals zero. And for var i equals zero, i is less than argument count i plus plus, and total equals total plus or plus equals uh, argument uh, sub i, <clears throat> and then return total. And I believe this is actually sort of how languages that allow uh, functions or methods with arbitrary number of parameters work. Uh, you have an array of the parameters instead of specific instead of a uh, specific names but nevertheless we can go into here and i want total lines to be one not two because it has to be the uh, largest index and not the actual total because again i programmed this badly uh we can say five plus three five plus three plus six five plus three plus ten point five plus uh 117 plus i don't know pi uh, and I can add 10.5, what was the other one? 117 and pi. And even though we haven't really defined the script to do anything with specifically one, two, three, four, five, six arguments over here, it just uses the argument array. This will work. And I can run the game. And it will run eventually. Thank you. And I can talk to you. 5 plus 3 is 8, 5 plus 3 plus 6 plus 10 plus whatever that says is 114.64. And, okay, wonderful, it actually didn't crash this time. Did it skip a line? Oh, that's because I uh, I overwrote the first, uh, the, the line in the middle there. Whatever, that's my fault. Anyway, that's how you would overload a script in GameMaker. Admittedly, this isn't the best way to probably demonstrate the usefulness of this. Um, it was just the fastest way that I could think of. A better example might be something like if you're instantiating an NPC through code and you want to give them a name and age and maybe optionally the stuff that they can sell you or something like that. But anyway, that's it for overloading scripts in GameMaker. It's really quite simple. Probably worth me pointing out that until I think one of the more recent versions of GameMaker Studio 1, um, there's actually a hard limit of 16, where is it, 16 um, arguments in a script. And even if you access them via this method, with a loop and a loop counter or something like that. Uh, if you had more than 16 arguments, GameMaker would complain. So if you're still using an old version of GameMaker Studio 1, or if you're still using GameMaker 8, or God forbid, like 7 or 6 or something like that, you wouldn't really be able to use an arbitrary number of arguments. You would just be limited to... You would just be limited to 16, or indexes 0 through 15, because they already start at 1, at least in normal programming languages. Hey! But that shouldn't really affect too many people's code. If you're using a modern version of GameMaker, this works fine. That's all I have here. I'm not going to make anything available for download because this is really only a couple of lines of code. It's not anything game-changing. It's perfectly possible to make a, a perfectly functional game without overloading a script. But if you wanted to do it, this is how you do it. Anyway, I've been doing this for five years and I'm still, like, really bad at closing off videos. Goodbye.